Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be talking about the digestion of food that is happening inside the buccal cavity. So, first let us talk about what are the functions of the tongue. Tongue actually helps in the ingestion of the food, it helps in chewing and also swallowing. So, without the tongue, these processes would not be possible. It helps in cleaning of the teeth and also mixing the food with saliva and the saliva we know it contains various digestive enzymes. Let us now talk about the function of the teeth. Teeth as we know it helps in mastication of the food that means breaking down of the complex food materials into simpler easily digestible ones. So because of this mastication processes it breaks into smaller pieces and hence it increases the surface area for the food of the for the action of the saliva and its digestive juices. Now let us talk about what are the important functions of mucus in the buccal cavity. Mucus as we know it helps in lubricating that is it lubricates the passage because of which the food can easily move into the intestine or into the esophagus from the mouth. Now it helps in the formation of bolus. Now what is bolus? Bolus is a structure it is like a circular structure as you can see over here. The food materials it is made into a bolus because of this because of the presence of mucus it makes the food particles sticky and they stick to each other and they form a round like structure. So this is the shape uh, which is easily passed into the intestine. The mucus it helps in the formation of bolus. Now bolus is a round structure of the semi digested food or masticated food in the mouth. Now this is the typical structure of a bolus. Bolus formation happens because of the fact that the mucus is quite sticky and it helps in sticking the food materials into a ball like structure round or oval shaped structure. So this it helps in the formation of bolus by the process of deglutition and this is sent into the pharynx and then to the esophagus. So this bolus structure is pushed into the esophagus with the help of the tongue. Now the food in the esophagus it passes by a process which is known as the peristalsis. Peristalsis is the process of alternate rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the muscle layers in the esophagus. So let's take the example of this figure and understand what is peristalsis. So the bolus at this position here these muscle cells they start contracting. Because of this contraction the bolus is pushed more towards the bottom portion. Now see it has moved towards this bottom portion. Now the muscles just above this bolus they in turn now tries to push or tries to contract because of which again it moves down. So this rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the muscles of the esophagus is known as the peristalsis. Now let us talk about the digestion activity that is happening in the buccal cavity. Now the saliva which we have already discussed it contains various electrolytes like sodium, potassium, chromium and bicarbonate ions. So these ions are present as electrolytes in the saliva. Now the saliva also contains enzymes like salivary amylase and lysozyme. The salivary amylase it has a pH of about 6.8 slightly acidic in nature and it has hydrolytic function for carbohydrates that means it breaks down carbohydrates into simple easily absorbable products. 30% of the hydrolysis of starch takes place in the mouth. This starch is hydrolyzed into a disaccharide called maltose. Now the lysozyme it acts as an antibacterial agent. It actually helps and prevents infection. So in this video we have talked about the digestion of food that is happening in the buccal cavity. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.